Hey everybody, this is our Lua Basics tutorial number three. We're going to be looking at numbers today. Let's talk about numbers. Everybody likes numbers. Numbers are great. Numbers are fun. Numbers are in math. And math is in Lua. Let's do it. All right. Uh, we could do some pretty cool things with Lua and math like this. Ready? Ready for this? You're going to be blown away. Print one plus one. Boom, it's two, isn't that cool? Yes, it's very cool. I think it's very cool. And it's very nice that Lua does that for you. Um, you can do something like any sort of decimal. 3.1415. Print, boom, there it is. Prints it out, does decimals, and it does some easy division and fractions for you. So do this, boom, there is a small fraction we could do a an even bigger one and there it is and it does round it notice it rounds it after about uh, i don't know what is that 12 decimals something like that uh, we can write numbers in exponential notation if you're not familiar with this this is uh, a number times 10 to the certain power you might see this on calculators if we do that what that means is you take 1.23 and then you move that decimal place over six times to the right and therefore you have I don't know what that is. 12, no, 1,230,000. If you put a negative six in there, then it will put it as a negative six, which means it's a decimal. So let's, let's try this, let's try three. Ah, there it is. So with the negative, it makes it super, super small. So you move the decimal place over three times to the left, all right? So that is how you work with that. Now let's do a setup here and let's actually do an equation for maybe the area of uh, a rectangle. Well, with uh, area rectangle, we have the width. Well, the width is going to be, hmm, what should we have the width be? 8.25 and the height will be, let's say 13.75. And now what we can do is we can actually multiply these together. Remember with that asterisk, that's the multiplication one, multiply, and it will do the math for you, which is pretty cool, all right? And we can do several other things. We can, you know, figure out the volume if we wanted, and the width, height, and the length. And let's see, that would be 5.15. Come here, we'll print the volume, and the volume here will be, we put length, boom. And there it is. You can also do this instead if you'd like to say volume equals width times height and then length. Boom. And instead of doing the multiplication there, we've done it previously on line seven and we print the volume. Boom. There it is. All right. And eventually you can ask the, actually ask the user for inputs. And so you can, if you'd like to have them put in the width, the height, and the length, then you'd be able to get them to do that as well. There's several other math uh, equations and things you can do. You can do absolute value. So for example, we're going to print math.abs of negative 10, and let's see what that does. And it'll print out 10, right? So that's the absolute value. That's basically where you take the negative way. You can do sine, you can do cosine, you can do minimum, maximum. So let's try, that's a good one, minimum. Do the minimum of one, two, three, and four, and five. And what should it spit out? Hopefully it'll spit out one, right? If we're doing minimum, there it is, yep. And then you can do max as well. You can do square root, which is kind of cool. That's QRT, is all you have to do there. And it can do it of any number. So the square root of five, which is some ugly number, 2.36, there it is. Now you can do pi. Everybody loves some pi, there it is. And we'll spit it out. That's pretty nice. You don't want to spit out the pie. That's just disgusting. <laughs> uh, this is a really helpful random. And boom, there it is. It gives me a random number. And it's zero and one. It'll give me a random number of those two each time. All right, so this is really cool. So what I've just done here is I have given you, you know, pick a random number from zero to 10. And all we have to do is every time we're refreshing it, notice the number is changing. Nine, four, six, two, seven. 
That's really handy. That's really handy to have. So it picks random numbers for you. There's a lot of other math equations there that you can do, um, but you might not need them uh, in terms of tangent or anything like that. Uh, one of the other ones, a couple other ones we will look at that might be useful in terms of um, dealing with decimals is what's called a floor. All right, when I do math.floor of 3.14, notice it's spitting out three. All right, and if we did 3.0, it'll spit out three as well. What happens if we do 2.9? It will drop any of the decimals. It does not round up. Does that make sense? That is called a floor. Whereas a ceiling, we'll call it ceiling here. Let's see when we put in 2.9, it gives me three. Whereas if I put 2.4, What's it going to do? It's going to bring it up to three as well. It is rounding up no matter what. Let's see what 2.0 does. 2.01, though, will bring it up to three. Does that make sense? That might be useful later on. But floor brings the number down. Ceiling brings the number up. All right, so those are some pretty cool math abilities here inside of Lua. So those are just some of the individual and little things that we have to do with math inside Lua that you'll be able to use later on. Start working with some variables here and come up with your own math equation. Maybe do the equation for a perimeter or something like that and see if you can get that going. But um, that's the basics of numbers in Lua. Thanks for joining us.